Well, hello and welcome to the third video in our series about driving in the UK, hints and tips for Americans. Well, not just Americans, for anyone that's not used to driving on the left side of the road. In the background, you may be able to hear the busy M4 motorway. I did try to film up there earlier, but it was so noisy, <laughs> I can hear a thing. Well, anyway, in the previous videos, the links are below, we looked at driving on the motorway, basic driving around towns, uh, using roundabouts, things like that. In the comments of those, a few people mentioned they would like to see uh, some information about road signs, road markings, and the little differences between the two, between the US and the UK. So that's what we're going to look at today. So let's get started. One of the first thing you'll notice about driving in the UK are the colour of the lines on the roads. In the US, they're yellow. Here, you can see they're white. Like in the US, there are three basic types of road signs. Round ones to give orders, rectangular ones to give you information, and triangular ones to give you warnings. One thing to point out, although we're metric for most things in the UK, like our petrol sold in litres, all the signs and distances are in miles per hour. Don't know why, one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly forgot the information signs. On the motorways, they're blue. On the primary routes, the main roads, they're green. Most other roads, they're white. And if you're looking for tourist attractions, they tend to do those in brown. So there's our standard speed limit sign. White with a red circle on the side, 30 miles per hour. This is an interesting sign. It means the national speed limit applies. Normally you see it after you've left a restricted speed area. And on this road, the national speed limit will be 60 miles per hour. On a motorway, it's 70 miles per hour. But that's for a normal car. And as you can see, as you leave this area, it's got national speed limit applies. And around the side, the people coming the other way, we're going into the speed restricted area, they see 40 miles an hour, so it's 60 here into 40. No doubt there'll be room for comments of what people's views of this means and all the different various speed limits there are on different types of roads. But generally, on a road like this, it's 60 miles an hour and a motorway, 70 miles per hour. That's for cars, by the way. Warning signs, straightforward, that one there could be horse riders on the road. That warning sign means there could be pedestrians on the road. It does look like uh, there's a warning for some weirdo that's gonna abduct your kid. But um, no, just pedestrians in the road. So that's a brown tourist information sign. Historical building that way. And looks like giant ducks that way. You'll see this a lot in Wales, the English name of the town and the Welsh name. Also, as mentioned before, the road signs. Have a look at this one. Risk of severe tyre damage. And then the Welsh below. Some more Welsh there. Best stop. Now the sign there, the red cross on a blue background, means clear way. That means no stopping not even to pick up or set down at any time. To be honest, a lot of people in the UK don't really know what that means. This is an interesting one. Though it doesn't mean uh, motorcycle stunt team. I don't know if you have a version in the US. What it does mean is no access to motor vehicles, except access only, which means if you need to get to the garage or a house in that street, as it says on the sign. Instead of yield, we have give way, and when there is a sign, it's normally accompanied by the symbol on the road at the junction, which is... Okay, street parking. Unlike in the US, in the UK, you can park 
in either direction, either with or against the flow of traffic, as you can see. But when I was researching this, apparently under Rule 248 of the Highway Code, you can't do it in the UK at night, but I've never come across anybody that's been prosecuted or fined for doing it. So, uh, have you? Do you live in the UK? Have you been fined for parking the wrong way at night? Anyway, that's street parking. Let's have a look at some other parking restrictions you'll find in the UK. The dreaded double yellow lines. This means no parking or waiting at any time. The double yellow lines come with a, a street sign. This one saying no waiting at any time. So it's not a seasonal one all year round. A single yellow line means no parking or waiting at specified times. There'll be a sign on a lamppost nearby telling you what those times are. This one's also got the single dash on the curb and that means no loading or unloading at specified times as well. So let's go and see if we can find the sign that goes with these. So what you're looking at is a zebra crossing and they're marked by the beacons either side. They used to be called Belisha beacons, but to be honest, no one under 70 ever uses that term. Uh, you should stop when somebody's waiting to cross, if it's safe to do so, it's not too wet. And they're marked out by those, uh, the zebra paint obviously with the pedestrians cross, and also the zigzag lines. You're not allowed to stop or pick up or wait there. They're basically designed so the pedestrian gets a clear view of the road. One subtle difference between the US and the UK, and also Europe and the UK, are traffic lights and the sequence of traffic lights. So we'll take a look at the sequence of lights. They're pretty straightforward. The main difference is from stop to go. In the US and most of Europe, it's red for stop, then it changes to basically green for go. But we use amber in between in the UK. Let's have a look. At the moment, it's on red. This is the main difference. I'll probably have to wait all day for this to change. Still waiting. So it doesn't go from red to green. What you will see is red, red and amber together. That means uh, get ready, then green. They're red, amber and green. You can't go until it actually goes green. One thing I may have forgotten to mention with traffic lights is you can't turn on a red. In the US, you can do curb to curb on a red light. In the UK and Europe, you can't. You only can do it when there's a specified filter arrow to, which turns green. Right, this is a pedestrian crossing. It's on red, so everyone has to stop. But unlike other crossings, it goes to flashing amber. And if no one's actually crossing, you're allowed to cross, you're allowed to drive through, like the cars behind me. So, from red, flashing amber, you can go if no one's actually on the crossing, otherwise you have to wait until it's clear and go on green. And those drivers were cursing me. <laughs> I pressed that twice already. So that's enough road signs and road markings. Let's go for a little drive. And Mel's driving, so fingers crossed. Mel's driving today. <laughs> She's not happy about it. I'm not happy because you're telling me what to do as I'm actually doing it, not before I'm doing it. Don't worry. How many points do I get for a pedestrian? survived that little jaunt with Melissa. Cheeky. <laughs> we didn't go very far. I had dark hair before I got in the car with you, Mel. 
Mr. Smile. Uh, 